Yeah, hi guys. So, um, I have to do another one on those, <laughs> on this dreaded topic. So, um, yeah, I'll just read here. To disciple is to teach or train. When Jesus was doing his ministry on earth, he taught his disciples as they lived together to demonstrate how to think, speak, act, and live. We are do, to do the same thing with those who lead to Jesus. The difference is that we are teaching them to look and live more like Jesus, not to look and live more like us. Um, are you making disciples of others? Are you teaching people how to follow Christ? Uh, take a moment to examine your life and its purpose. Imitate me just as I also imitate Christ. Alright, so... Uh, flat Earth! <laughs> Alright. Now, there's two groups of people looking at the moment there. There's the round earthers and the flat earthers. And both of them are waiting for me to confess either way. You know, because um, in the flat earth religion, they'll stop listening to you unless you say, I believe in a flat earth, I confess with my mouth. All right, so you got to say that, and then they'll, you'll have their attention. Um, and round earthers are the same. If you say you're a flat earther, they take off too. All right. So, in saying so, right, um, I'll have a look at here, at the difference between Luke and Mark, alright, so you got Luke, which is us, and, um, so we'll have a look here what, what Jesus says, okay, so, he, and John answered and said to Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him, because he followed not with us, right, he's, this man that's doing miracles in Jesus' name is not with us. Forbid him not, for that he is not against us, he is for us. All right. So fine, just let him go. Okay, now you get to seals where we're in seals, right? And there's a lot of people doing weird stuff during seals. Now, same one again. He's casting out devils in name, and he followeth uh, he follow us, uh, not us, right? And we forbade him, because he follow us, not us. All right, so still, during seals, they're not following uh, Luke. Forbid him not, for there is no man which shall do a miracle in my name that can lightly speak evil of me. For he that is not against us is on our part. For And he goes on. You'll see there's heaps more red writing there. All right, so here, right, we're cool. We'll just stick to our own little thing. It's that simple, all right? But here, right, he's got a lot more to say about it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's that. Now, um, so I, I'll have a look at this video here, right? So what I did was, this guy here, what I, what I see is, is when you use Flat Earth as a lure to bring somebody to God, because I, I hope that's their goal, right? Is not to convince someone about Flat Earth. Their goal must be to bring somebody to God, otherwise it's pointless in convincing someone as Flat Earth. Why even try? What you want to do is bring them to God. All right, so this man happens to be, so he says, a man of God. All right, so you just go and have a look at his channel and see what his things are. People don't go and check. All right, so. Uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit, calling to Acts 2-4. Okay, uh, I prefer the 32, what is it? And of uh, 38, and given to believers who ask and exercise their faith receive this experience the initial sign is the gift of tongues all right so these people here i know this type of people right you you don't have the holy spirit unless you speak in tongues all right so this poor fella whoever he is right is going to be forced to jibber jabber to prove that he has the holy spirit all right we you know so yes i um I straight away don't like this mob. So I don't follow this mob. This is the ones where I've gone, where where Jesus has gone, you know, just um all right, leave him alone. Don't don't go near him. Just let him do his thing, all right? So um that's what that's what I'm saying. So we're, if we're to be following Jesus, we leave these people to do their thing. Um where are we? Anyone who isn't yeah. So where's this one? Now, there's another one here. He that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me, right? So not using him, 
Um, he scattereth abroad. So, and that's under that topic. Um, so you look at not with me. So you can have a look at the word with. I'll let you go through that. All right. So, you know, later on, this is during trumpets. So he's getting pretty serious now because people should know that he's actually there now, right? They've seen him. So um, there's no need for all this flat earth stuff. If they're not using Jesus to do it, then they're in big trouble, right? They're, they're just do not, they're, they're purposely lying, all right? They're using proper deception. So, um, yeah, so uh, what was the other one there? So I looked, I looked underneath here at this one, Odell's website. I noticed this name here too, Soren. I'm not sure if that's the same Soren, uh, where the videos of him in um, Denmark, or it might be Denmark, in Europe somewhere, where he's beating on those kids, right, um, to knock devils out of them. He's got them on the ground and he's choking them. I've seen the videos, right, so I don't like that guy at all. And he got locked up in prison for a long time and everybody's like, oh, please pray, get, get him out so he can go back to choking kids again. Right, God put him in prison. He, he's not in there for another reason. And the country um, put up lawsuits against him. So, uh, yeah, anyway. And he, same thing. He believes in talking in tongues. Uh, the initial sign is the gift of tongues. So that's the other one as well. All right, so you got there. Okay, so um, you think this guy's being brought to God, but he's not being brought to God the way Jesus does it. All right, so first he has to believe in a flat earth, and second he has to believe that speaking in tongues uh, gives you the Holy Spirit, or is a sign of the Holy Spirit. It is a sign, but he, they say the initial one is the first one that you've got to have um, to show that you've got um, Holy Spirit. It's deceptive. They do that on purpose because people don't like hearing it they, they don't like that saying you know um, it's the actual sign that you've got the holy spirit anyway and yeah and the other thing is if you're going to do it this way um get someone to believe flat earth and then give them god you've got to disciple them to make sure they've got the true god the real god because there's other religions like uh Jain, jainism they believe in a flat earth and they'll bring you to their they'll happily bring you to their god i think it's like similar to Buddhist or something, or Hindu, I can't remember which one, um, yeah, so there's lots, lots of flat earth ones trying to bring people to God, but bring them to the right God, so it's all very well having a channel about flat earth and how you're trying to bring people to God, but you make sure they know which God you're bringing them to, alright, I'm, I'm quite happy with that, because to me, flat Earth is like um, evolution and creation. It's simple to me. I go to creation. Okay, the happy. No more conversation. Creation's it. Um, the sky is blue. Some people might say it's yellow. It's not yellow. It's blue. But when they figure out it's blue, you know, oh, good, it's blue. Okay, so it's just like that. That's that's the way I look at it. Great, flat Earth. Move on. Next subject. But using it as a as a tool to bring people to God. Uh, is okay, but you you got to stay with that person, you know what I mean? All right. So, um, yeah, just be careful. All right. God bless.